Hey guys, this will be a quick one today. Um, so I was working with somebody and they couldn't figure out why their UPC codes weren't scanning in advanced warehouse. So it's actually a pretty simple thing to mess up and pretty simple thing to fix, okay? So if I go to the uh, release product here and I'm, I'm where I'm at is I've gone into the barcode section here of the release product. And this happens to be a, a product master that has variants associated with it. So if I look here, I've got these these variants and each one of these variants have a different UPC code. All right, so let me copy this one here, this first one. And here's the message that you'll get. So if I go into just an inventory item inquiry screen and I put that uh, UPC code in there, and go ahead and hit OK, you'll get this product identifier not found. Okay, so the way you fix that is really simple. Um, so if we go back to the UPC uh, screen here, and you go to general, there's a scanning uh, slider here. So let's go ahead and edit that and change that to scanning yes and save that. And now if we go back to our, our mobile device here and click on the item number and then paste in the UPC code, we'll go and it'll find our variant here. So if I go ahead and hit OK where it's filled in the size 10 and everything, um, it's going to show us our bay door our, and then our two locations that it's... Uh, that it's at. It's actually our three locations here it's at. So this is a real easy thing to forget to do when you're loading your UPC codes is setting that uh, scanning flag to yes. So if you run into this problem, again, it's just real easy fix. Just flip that flag to yes and you should be good to go. Okay. So until next time, thanks for watching. See you later.